Hey, what's going on guys? So uh, today we're talking about this Ozark Trail Knife, all right? The one that's sweeping the community, <laughs> the one everyone's looking for. So uh, obviously I told you guys that um, someone gave me a heads up. Walmart has an Ozark Trail model that has the access lock, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, people are loving it, where it was getting around. I went to the store, I got one for myself. I tried it out, I loved it. It is still my favorite. Um, you know, Ozark Trail Folder specifically. Ozark Trail Folder from Walmart. This is my favorite design thus far. I've tried them all, or I should say, all up until this season's anyway. There's a couple there I, I didn't uh, recognize that were kind of new. New lock back that actually looks pretty decent. But anyway, um, I loved it. But you guys kept sending messages. Now, four out of five of those messages were, I can't get one. Where are they? I don't see them online for sale. I don't see them uh, at my Walmart. You know, what's the deal? Um, so a lot of you guys, you know, saw the video, you're interested or heard someone else talk about it, you're interested and you want to get it and you can't get it. I don't know why. I don't work for Walmart. I don't know about their distribution. All I can assume is that, I mean, these are from 2022, right? I said that in the first video. I think, yeah, these are all from 2022. Now, obviously, we're heading towards the end of the year here. But I just have to assume that these will pop up more as we get closer and closer to Christmas. All right, so my local Walmart does not have any of those, you know, cool Christmas deals with the knives, all the different multi-packs and stuff. I don't see that at either one of my Walmarts, uh, the two that I frequent. Uh, so I just, I have to assume that with a little bit more time, these will be available more places. Who knows? But when I went back to, uh, to Walmart, I decided to pick up another one. I actually wanted to load up on them. I posted this on uh, Facebook. I wanted to buy, you know, pretty much, it depends on how many they had. If they had like 50 of them, I wasn't going to get 50. But if they had like 10 or 15 of them, I wanted to buy them all because I thought that these would be kind of cool to throw into uh, trade deals. Like when I'm doing a trade deal with someone and sometimes like they really want something that I have, but maybe the value is just a little bit more, who knows, five bucks, 10 bucks more, whatever it happens to be. But they're really good with the trade. I thought it'd be a nice surprise just to throw one of these in the box. You know, that's why I wanted these. I wanted to give them out as gifts, basically. Um, but, unfortunately, I went back to the same Walmart where I got that one, and there was none on the shelf. And I was, like, really digging through, and I, I finally found one. There was one of these way in the back. They had, you know, those ones that look like, uh, like rainbow colored that I showed in the first video? You know, there was, like, 15 or 16 in a row, and then this was literally in the back on that that slot, you know what I'm saying? So this one was kind of hidden. Now, I don't know if it was anyone local who watched my videos or if it was someone else, because word really is spreading quite quickly with these things, uh, and the interest is growing rapidly by the day, but someone went and cleared these out. They just happened to miss one that was misplaced. So I grabbed it here, and I want to open this up and see how it compares to this, because some people got these and loved them, like myself, and some people got them and said, I don't see the big deal is it you know it's kind of a crappy knife and uh unfortunately with ozark trails and cheap knives in general what we have is a lack of qc or quality control that has always been the case with cheap anything it doesn't have to be knives if it's super cheap it's not consistent all right one of the reasons why some people spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars uh, on knives is because they want that consistency they want to know if they bought three of the same knife that they're all identical you don't get that with super mass-produced cheap knives. You just don't. So we're just going to compare it. But I want to show this before we take it out of the package. See the bottom of this package here? It looks crinkle. It looks like a little damaged. And I can't help but think that someone popped this out, like I showed in the first video, but who knows. All right, so same knife. Take this out here and see what we got going on. All right, so this one, oh, this one feels way stiffer. Really stiff, especially in the closing. Maybe I have to work this in a little bit. Now you guys know I threw a little bit of oil on mine. I've been carrying it, using it. It's been awesome. It's definitely smoothed out. This one obviously is gonna take a lot. Oh, I'll tell you what I, hmm, I don't know. So with the axis lock, let me use this one as an example. The access lock is designed so that it keeps the blade shut. Obviously, it's a lock, so it keeps it open and locked. But if you notice, when I pull the blade out, it pulls down on this piece, okay? This is what's keeping the blade in, since there's no um, detent, you know, and 
you know, any kind of, there's nothing else in this knife design basically keeping the blade in, otherwise it would just flop out. Okay, that's designed in the locking mechanism and the design of the knife. So it keeps the blade closed. And once you get to a certain point, it overrides that, then there's no more pressure trying to shut it. It's just loosey-goosey here. And then obviously as you go forward, it locks forward, and that's it. The blade's open and locked, right? That's the design of the access lock here. However, this one, it you know, it seems like it's doing that, but it, it's just super rough. Like, like, see here? It should be sucking the blade in, and it's not. Why is that? What is so stiff in there that it's not doing that? I don't like that. Something in here... Is not right. I don't know if it's every time. Yeah, once you get to a certain point, yeah, it should be it should be sucking in. So when I lift up, you can see it snaps back. All right, you see this? This is how the access lock works, keeping that blade closed. This one no snappy. Why? <laughs> now I don't think it's a a break in uh, issue here. Kind of want to just compare them side by side. We're just looking here. Same thing when this is open, it locks open. You see the position of that access lock? Is this even locked? Oh man. That is a huge, huge bummer. Something is wrong with this one right out of the package. Perfect. Perfect lockup on a six dollar knife. Ooh, what's going on here? Is that machine oil? No, that's like well I mean it's it's oil and grit, but it looks like also some marks in there. Does this one have that? No, it does not. It just has an oil blade. So, which I'm wiping down. This one is super disappointing. So something is not right with the lock, and then of course when it's open. That is definitely not what you want. So I'm not sure exactly what's wrong. Is it like a cheap spring that's not working properly? You just kind of we give this the benefit of the doubt. We try to oh now it won't now it won't move at all. Okay, because I was pushing on one side, I suppose. No, why won't this move now? Oh boy, something's up with this. <laughs> oh boy man that's really disappointing um yeah I mean I don't know like I said it looked like it looked like the package was a little messed up I don't think there's enough time for people to buy these and return them yet but even if they did put this in the package and return it I don't I don't uh think they'd put it back on the shelf. I don't know if you work for Walmart. I actually worked for Walmart at some point. I did a seasonal job overnight stocking shelves from like midnight till 6 a.m. or 7 a.m., whatever it was. That sucked. <laughs> I did not like it. It was just for the holiday season. It was for like two months. Um, not to get into a whole side story here, but I remember back then I had carried, um, it was my Spider Coast Spider Wrench. And I remember that specifically because I remember using it to put together uh, one of the uh, the shelves on like an end cap or something. But anyway, so, I mean, I don't think this is pre-owned, but even if it was, I mean, why would they put it back on the shelf if it was returned? I mean, I don't see, I don't really see any wear in the blade. Like anyone cut anything with it or anything like that. <laughs> See, mine, mine's sharp because I sharpened mine. This one, not so much out of the box. But anyway, so yeah, something's going on internally here that's not right. It's changing because it, right now, you could hear that, but it's not as bad as it was. So something's either loose in here or broken in here or just not functioning properly. I don't know. Now it's getting looser again. Yeah. That is a shame. Just having another peek-see here to see if anything is different. 
Um, as far as like inconsistencies, they seem, I mean they're mass produced, they're pretty darn identical. It almost seems like the, <laughs> I gotta zoom in on this. Again, this is QC issues. Not that it really matters that much, but if you look at the uh, the access lock itself, the one on the right, which I actually do like, if you see the top, like the circle here essentially, the top step to the step up there, seems smaller, doesn't it? Doesn't it seem like this one's a little bit wider, a little flatter? I don't know if there's as many cuts in it. Maybe this is me, me like hyper, hyper critical. But uh, yeah, this looks like a smaller circle on the very peak than this. Um, yeah, I mean, hardware looks fine. The color of the actual scale looks pretty identical. I mean, where the markings are, I mean, you can see this one. I mean, because something's wrong here, maybe the blade's not poking up as much as it should, but you can see that logo is almost tucked under the handle, whereas this one's not. It's up high. But yeah, I mean, that, that stuff doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's unfortunate. I am super bummed. Uh, maybe it was a blessing in disguise. Maybe I shouldn't be buying these and giving them out as gifts because half the people would be really excited about it and the other half the people would be really disappointed. But this is what you have with mass produce junk, really. I'm not saying this is total junk, but I mean, come on, compared to most of the stuff that we're used to, it might be considered junk. And that's just something that like, I've had that conversation with people. I actually argue with someone who I'm friends with. Because they're like, oh, it's total junk. I don't see the big deal. And I was kind of getting defensive. I'm like, you know, this is actually a fantastic knife for $6. You have to consider the price. Obviously, overall, it's a junkier knife. But there's way more people that are carrying and using knives like this every single day than anyone carrying some kind of Spyderco or Benchmade or whatever. You know, pick your favorite brand. Um, it's just it's just what it is. The knife community is a very concentrated group of people who have high-end stuff You know no different than the car community if you go to a car show and there's like 20 guys there with really cool really nice cars That does not represent all the drivers of America and all the drivers of the world <laughs> You know what I'm saying so It's just what it is. There's far more of these in pockets than really nice high-end knives um, but as far as cheap knives go, I do think that it shines. I do think this is a fantastic option if you got this exact one that I got. This is one of the reasons why I wanted to try another one out is because I was hoping that it would be a little more consistent and it is not. I can't say I'm like super, super surprised, but um, it is disappointing on this one. So yeah, this is a dud. If I watch my own video and I'm like, Wow, he really likes that knife. I, I gotta get one, because that's what a lot of people did. I get, you go to Walmart real quick, and you're all excited, and you go to run over the knife stuff, and they have some other Ozark Trail knives, and you're looking, and you're looking, and there's nothing there. And then you're super bummed, right? But worse than that is if you went there, found one, oh man, ripped it out of the package when you got home, and went to go play with it, and you're like, wow, this is great. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> What's wrong with mine? Why does mine suck? So yeah, that's, uh, that's unfortunate. It's still a functional knife. I'll still use this as a beater, but that is really disappointing that something is not right in this lock. That's all. That's nothing to do with like the tension on the pivot or anything. It's the actual lock itself. Um, is just is off. Something's not right. You see how that lock is all the way forward? This is how it's supposed to be. You know, in the middle. I'll let that focus a second here so you can see what I'm talking about. Come on, camera. Focus on me. There we go. You see how that's all the way up? This is not all the way up. This is, you know, properly um, engaged. This is not. So something inside is wrong. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna set this one aside. Maybe I'll put a piece of tape on it or something so I know, you know, which one's which visually quickly without having to open and close them. But um, obviously this one's smooth, works fine. This one is not. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this guy up and see what's going on in there. Because something's not right, either something is broken, misaligned, twisted, bent, I mean, you name it, something, something's up, and I want to see what is up. Especially for six bucks, why not, right? Uh, so yeah, in another video, I don't know when, I'm going to set this aside for a separate project, but we're going to open this guy up, see what's wrong with it inside, and uh, conclude why this one is not functioning as it should. should definitely stay closed, alright, and then when open, 
should not have any of the crazy blade play that it does. All right, so we'll see. That'll be for a future video. So that's all. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video as far as these knives go. You know, I mean, for six bucks, you're, you're kind of rolling the dice there. You might get a really good one. You might not. That's totally up to you. Um, as I mentioned in the first one, there's no shame in, in buying, you know, don't buy all of them, obviously. But buy, you know, maybe two or three and then see which one's best and then return the other two to the store. Um, not saying you have to do that. I'm just saying if you want to increase your chances of getting a good one, uh, that might help. You know, it's obviously going to be inconvenient for you uh, to have to go back to the store and return those uh, and stand online, especially that the holiday season is upon us. The stores are insane. I'm very much trying to stay away from the stores. Uh, but at the same time, you know, it's not all about buying stuff online because at least in my area, I can't speak for everyone, but packages get insane and everything gets lost and misplaced and delayed and it gives me massive stress. I don't like doing crap with the mail or the stores during the holiday season. I like hanging around the house, having a hot cup of coffee or something, watching Christmas movies, you know, as much as I can. But hey, that's just me. So that's all. Hopefully you guys have an awesome day. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you happen to pick one of these up. If you did, what do you got? Did you get the lemon? Did you get the good one? Are you happy? Or no, are you happy? Are you sad? <laughs> you know, what happened with it? If you got one of these things, let me know how yours turned out. And let me know if you're going to, you know, replace it with another one or if you're just moving on. So this happens to be the uh, the highlight lately in the knife scene is the cheap, you know, Axis Lock uh, Ozark Trail Knife. But unfortunately, some people are getting duds. And that was me today with this second one. So that's all. Hope you guys have an awesome day. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Thanks for watching. Take care.